on the 2nd of July 2007. An elderly man died in the Upper Silesia region, south of Poland. His name was Bernard. He wasn't famous or rich, though he had many friends. He worked hard all his life to provide for his family. In his own way, he made the world a better place. I am proud to be his son. In the Hebrew tradition, one's last name was the name of one's father. If I lived in the Holy Land 2000 years ago, I would be called Irenaeus of Bernard. What would be your full name? Would you be honored to carry your father's name? Today, we pray for our earthly fathers. Of course, there are different dates of Father's Day around the world. Here in Australia, it is celebrated each year on the first Sunday of September. However, the date doesn't really matter. It is important that we remember and honor our deaths at least once a year. Dear fathers, I know it is not easy to be a good dad in our times. There is a crisis in fatherhood in the world. Sometimes your vocation is diminished. Please stay strong and focused on your priorities. They are God, your wife and your children. May this first Sunday of spring put a smile on your face and warm your heart out of love for Heavenly Father and your family. Remember that St. Joseph, the patron of all fathers, is always ready to assist you and to help you to be a great man of God. Only then you will be able to be truly committed to those closest to your heart. Dear brothers and sisters, according to the Bible, fathers are very important in a family. The father is the head of it. His role is to protect his beloved wife and the children, but also to help his sons and daughters to face the challenges of being disciples of Jesus. In today's Gospel, the Lord proclaimed, Anyone who does not carry his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. In the letter to the Hebrews we read, Although he was son, he learned to obey through suffering. So, Jesus himself learned obedience to his Father through suffering. We often hear stories about how sons and daughters are disrespectful towards their dads. Teenagers disobey their fathers and think they know best. It seems that our modern society doesn't encourage young people to appreciate fathers. I think we Christians need to rebuild the position of father in our families so that we build stronger parish communities. Over the past 25 years of my priesthood, I have noticed that the families with strong faith have fathers who come to church and pray together more often than those families where fathers are lukewarm in their faith. Let us support dads in their faith journey and if you are a son or daughter, please pray for them daily. Thanking our Heavenly Father for the gift of fatherhood granted to those who have children, let us pray that all Christian fathers will be committed and faithful to God and their families. Let us pray that they will remember the authority given to them by God and will courageously and with love correct and discipline their children according to the gospel values. God our Father, in your wisdom and love you made all things. Bless fathers that they may be strengthened in their vocation. Let the example of their deep faith and love shine forth. May their sons and daughters honor them always with a spirit of profound respect. Amen.